there! In the past month, I've been doing a lot of redraws or fixing some existing older art to get ready for selling prints of them. One of them was my beloved birthday Miku drawing, of which I want to share the process with you. Just for some background, redrawing art is one of my favorite things to do. It's a great way to apply what you learn to a familiar concept and see what progress you have made. I drew this piece for my own birthday in 2020, and while I think the overall concept is sweet, I felt that I could do some simple things to make it better. I've done many complete redraws in the past, but this process focuses on taking an existing work and changing elements of it for an improved look without doing massive redraws. I started by sketching out some silhouette changes and started repainting parts of the face and hair. You'll notice in the speed paint that I go back and forth to this area. The original dress was a bit boring, but I also didn't want to radically change it either. I instead just added a cute shoulder slit, and I re-rendered the dress folds to give it a little bit of flair. The original skirt was too regular, a little too stiff and angular. I made more sweeping curves this time to kind of have a more natural kind of shape. For the hair, um, I kind of reduced some of the volume on the upper parts of the pigtails. They seem to be a little too much, and I wanted a more delicate pigtail look overall. Um, part of that also meant kind of separating out a couple like strands here and there to make it more visible of the kind of hair strand nature of what this object is. Her pigtails, you know, are comprised of strands, even though I'm mostly drawing them in big blocks. But kind of having that, that little bit of detail really makes a difference to the overall silhouette effect. I worked to smooth out the legs and in particular, re-render the shoes. The old shoes were kind of clunky, and I think I was originally going to do the chunky Mary Jane look, but instead, I ended up doing some weird mix of strappy heel whatever thing going on here. Either way, it looked kind of off, and this time I drew a more classic heel shape. Getting the angle references for this was actually kind of tough, surprisingly. I had to google so many pictures of shoes, it's, it's crazy. One of the greatest areas of improvement was the fruit and frosting on the lower half of the drawing. The original fruits were decent, but felt too shiny and fake, and the strawberries were giving me some tryptophobia vibes. A little freaky to look at. Too much detail. Too shiny. The frosting also felt stiff and too well defined. I felt like in this past year I've gotten more comfortable with color and lighting from all the drawing I've been doing on Twitch and offline. So this time around, I chose to do a more diffuse but bright rendering. It's not very crisp and clear, but the colors are more delightful and I kept the background generally more vague since it's not exactly the focus of the drawing. The frosting is just barely shaded. The little bits of color are meant more to suggest to the viewer what the shape is without explicitly drawing it all in. In general, the background is quite bright and undetailed, and this is a technique I've also used in some of my other recent drawings. I felt the original drawing's microphone or knife hold, whichever version you prefer, um, was kind of awkward, and I envisioned a new, more wholesome, bright, cute composition, so I added balloons. It looked like her pose would work well for holding strings, so I added some layers behind Miku and carefully used a large round brush to create the balloon silhouettes before going in and adding the shading details. I made it a little colorful and funky, even though it's not quite realistic, just to make it interesting to look at. Some artistic liberty, if you know what I mean. I had to take some extra care to lightly outline the strings so that they were visible against the multiple colored background. Also, this time around for the strawberries, you notice that I didn't do too much with rendering the seeds and like the little dips where the seeds go in. It's a lot less freaky to look at, but I think at a glance people can tell that these are strawberries. These are these are nice. Um, and I have still like this one strawberry kind of cut open to kind of give a little bit of variation to um, the shapes that and shapes and patterns that we are seeing with the fruit. I didn't do too much changes to the original further background with the stuffed animals and the candles. I thought they were kind of fine. They're just kind of there to provide more, you know, design aesthetic to the overall concept. So um, for the most part there, no much changes 
other than just kind of smoothing out some of the uh, edges and coloring they are a little bit messy there originally but just a little just a little fresh up there finally at the end i sprinkled in some confetti with the confetti brush and adjusted the colors a little bit and voila a refurbished drawing breathing some new life into an older piece Hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you'd like to see more of these short speed paint videos. Have you ever painted over an old drawing before? How'd it turn out? Please let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.